Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with all kinds of stuff from Aldi. I went there and I found all this stuff and I wanted to try some new things. Now some of this stuff is not new, but some of it is. Of course, like normal, I want to start out with the crinkly stuff first. And I have I have a lot of things in pouches today for some reason. Um, like this. I don't think I've ever tried this before. Now this is an item from Simply Nature. Simply Nature is an Aldi brand, um, and it's usually something that has minimal ingredients, uh, non-GMO, and it's also organic. I don't know that everything that Simply Nature is organic, but this is 90 second, seven grains. This is a blend of seven organic grains and lentils. It's cholesterol free and vegan, and it comes in this little pouch, and I think it's actually kind of fun to squish. It um, has an interesting feel to it. I think it's already cooked. I think basically you just have to heat it up. It says it's a highly nutritious blend of seven organic grains and lentils, slow cooked with organic extra virgin olive oil and a pinch of Mediterranean sea salt. So there is one thing that we can try. And then, oh, I also found this. This is another, um, no, this is not Simply Nature, but it's another little uh, pouch of, of rice from Earthly Grains. Now, this is microwavable white rice, but basmati, I'm probably saying that wrong. It, it doesn't matter. As long as it tastes good, I'm not really worried about it. Um, microwavable, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Now, let's see here. Basically, Okay, you're just going to heat this up, and they only give you microwave instructions. It's just a, like a brick of rice, um, and you're supposed to break up the pieces in here. You squeeze it to separate the grains, and then stand it with the open with opening toward the top of the microwave. You tear it partially across the top, and then you heat it for 90 seconds on high, and that's it. So that was something my younger son loves rice, just plain rice. That was something I thought he could possibly make for himself sometime. So I'm gonna let him try it and see what he thinks of it. And then and then this pouch. This is a sauce. <laughs> this is one of Campbell's sauces for the oven. You just add your chicken and vegetables, and you're gonna make sweet teriyaki chicken with that. Now, I don't think I've tried this one. I've tried some of their other sauces, and they're really good. This is a little 12-ounce pouch of sweet teriyaki chicken sauce, and it makes five-plus servings, which is awesome. And then we have another sauce. This is a skillet sauce, and it's from Campbell's, and this is four-plus servings. This is an 11-ounce pouch. And all you have to do is add your chicken to it to make sweet and sour chicken. It looks really good, and I love sweet and sour chicken, so I'm definitely uh, curious to see how this tastes. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this. So you just uh, brown your chicken, and then stir in the sauce and heat to a bowl. Then reduce it to low, cover and cook for five minutes, or until the chicken is cooked through. So... Yeah, I, I love sweet and sour chicken. That's one of my favorite things. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying this, trying this sauce here from Campbell's. So sometimes I do buy brand name things at Aldi. A lot of the stuff here, these are Aldi brands, but occasionally I do purchase things that are, are like brand name things. I think actually most of this other stuff is Aldi brands. Now this is something that I think I've seen there before, but I've never tried it. I'm not going to be eating these, though. These are Tandle Premium Laundry Detergent Packs. They're similar to Tide Pods, which I've never actually tried those, so I don't really know how it compares. These little packs are three-in-one. Look at this. Detergent, stain remover, and a whitening agent. And they're perfect for high-efficiency high HE machines. 
And of course we have the warnings here. Don't give them to your kids. Don't squirt them in your eye, which is a bummer because I was looking forward to trying that. So these are the original scent, I guess. Um, and I guess you just take one of these little pouches, the little pack, and you stick that in with your laundry. So you get you get 32 of these, and I think it was about six dollars for this for this pouch here. Of course, it's not it's not tied, but you know I actually really like their laundry detergent. I've been using their laundry detergent for for years, um, and I really I really like it. I think it's great, and it's much less expensive you know, when you compare it to Gain or Tide or something like that. Personally, I think it works just as well. I mean, we're, you know, here in my house, we're not out rustling cattle. I mean, I don't really need my detergent to be that high powered, and I imagine most people don't. Um, I can't really tell that it it's any less effective than the brand name detergents, and it's way cheaper. I love it. If you have an Aldi near you, I highly recommend their detergent. I can't really speak to their fabric softener, like the liquid fabric softener, because I've never tried it. Their fabric softener sheets are good, although it does seem like if they sit for too long, they become ineffective. That may be true of any dryer sheet, um, but they're, they're totally decent. I like them a lot. Okay, oh, and we have some granola. And this is one thing I love about Aldi. It seems like every time I go, they have a different type of granola. They have different blends and mixes and flavors all the time. This one is from Simply Nature. Again, that's one of the Aldi brands. It has a zipper, a, a zipper seal at the top, like a Ziploc seal. And you have these little notches, so you're going to pull this top off and get out what you want, and then you can seal it back up. It's non-GMO. And it's not organic, but, you know, it's fine. This is dark chocolate and sea salt. It's a superfoods granola, and it has gluten-free oats in it. Look at those lovely chunks there. It has amaranth and millet with chia seeds, ancient grains, and it looks lovely. And if you want to see what it looks like, we have this little open window here. It looks like a smile, and you can see, you can see the granola chunks in there. This is an 11 ounce packet from Simply Nature. Oh, and it's open on the back as well. And I have not tried this. Oh, it says it has 10 grams of whole grains per serving. That's pretty impressive. So I, I forget sometimes what flavors of their granola I've tried. And sometimes I, I, tr I get them thinking I haven't had them and then I realize, yes, I actually have. Okay, and I have I have lots of boxes of stuff. I don't know how that worked out, but we still have a few more pouches. Oh, here's a pouch. This is more of the 90 second uh, microwavable rice. This is jasmine rice. Now this, okay, so it has no cholesterol or trans fat, and it's just microwavable white white rice from earthly grains so this is not one of the simply nature products but again this is another one i thought my son could try and see if he likes it um because he he loves to just eat plain rice with a little bit of salt on it he just he loves that he'll eat it as a snack it's crazy but i thought with something like that you know that would be something convenient that he could just take out and pop in the microwave and fix for himself Oh, now this is something, I don't know if I've shown you these before. I actually bought these previously, and they're so good. Now, they don't have these all the time. These are a, a little treat from Clancy's. Now, Clancy's is a brand from Aldi that they have on all kinds of crackers and snacks and things like that. These things are so good. Oh, my goodness. They're $1.99 per bag. It's a six-ounce bag, and they have this pepperoni pizza flavor of baked pita puffs. They had another flavor. I think it was just cheese pizza. These things are so good. They're little, they're little snacks. They're like a little pillow. They're puffed up. They're full of air and they're so good. Oh my word. These things are so yummy. They are a wonderful little snack. I like them. And my older son likes them. My younger son doesn't care for them. But um, I went and actually bought several more bags of this. 
because again, they don't have it all the time. I wanted to get some extras before they were gone. So yeah, these have a lovely flavor. To me, they kind of remind me of uh, combos without the cheese stuff in them. It's that same flavor. It's These are so good, but they're getting hard to find. Um, they're almost all gone at my, at my Aldi. Okay. Now here's something that I found on the seasonal, the, the food aisle, not the aisle of shame, but in my store it's the one right after that where they have different foods at different times. They just have things for limited times. And this was one of the things that I found on that aisle today. This is from Pepperidge Farm and it's goldfish and it's a mix. And something about this bag makes me think of a bag of cat food. Maybe I'm thinking of meow mix or something. It just makes me think of a bag of cat food. But it's a mix of extra cheddar goldfish and goldfish pretzels and little pretzel knots. Isn't that cute? And it has a resealable bag, so it has the zipper seal up here. You just tear the top and then you have a resealable opening. 11 and a half ounces. So that, I thought that was an interesting mix of stuff. Um, oh, oh, and this was up by the register. I've seen these there before, though. Here we have a little packet of cookies. These are Benton's Thins, and Benton's is another Aldi brand that you're going to see on things like cookies, uh, little snack cakes, things like that. They're like the thin Oreos. See, they're really thin little cookies. Little thin chocolate sandwich creams. This is a 10.1 ounce package of Thins from Benton's. Now it's smaller than their normal package of their version of Oreo cookies, which are really good by the way. And they're very cheap. These were $1.55 and that's about how much the regular package of their their version of Oreos is about, it's about $1.55. And it's like a regular package of Oreos, which could be three or $4 elsewhere. But they're really good. I have not tried the thins though. I've never tried this kind before. And it has a little flap here that you lift up and it's resealable so you can pull it back and then you just smooth it back over and it seals it back up. Of course, I don't imagine these will last very long here. <laughs> So I don't think it matters that we keep them super fresh, but it's kind of great that they have that little seal. So these are Benton's Thins, little chocolate sandwich creams. And you can see the seal on this side and over here on this side. And like every other Aldi item, this is something good to keep in mind. It has the twice as nice guarantee on the back, which means if you don't like it, take it back. They'll give you your money back and give you a comparable item. So it's, you can't, you can't lose. And then I didn't have to buy any uh, loaf bread today, but I did get hamburger buns from Love and Fresh. Look at these pretty little hamburger buns. Oh my gosh. Although lately you've had to be careful with the hot dog buns. I've noticed lately a lot of those have been squished. I don't know why. It's just, they've been squished. The hamburger buns are great, and these are still only 55 cents per package. Love and Fresh is an Aldi brand, and you get eight pre-sliced hamburger buns in this package with the no high fructose corn syrup and no artificial flavors or colors. This package is 12 ounces, and look at that pretty, look at that pretty blue on the, on the little border up here. So we have this top part. And then it has this brown stripe and the little Love and Fresh logo is repeated throughout. Very nice. And I also got a package of hot dog buns. But again, it, you just kind of have to look at them. I mean, maybe it's just my Aldi, but I've noticed lately you'll get a pack and half of them will be kind of squished, but it'll be on the bottom. So you have to look. Now, just like the hamburger buns, you get eight in here and it's 12 ounces and they are pre-sliced little hot dog buns look at them sitting there so nice now this label is red but it still has the same love and fresh logo at the top Isn't that nice and up here you have the red instead of blue you have red 
but the same brown stripe and the love, the love and Fresh logo goes all the way around. It's just, they're so wonderful. They, we go through a lot of these here. Hamburger buns and hot dog buns. If you have two boys in your house, or two kids really, especially when they get to be teenagers, yeah, you, you, they go through a lot of groceries. Okay, now I have a sea of boxes here. Perhaps I should do the cans first. I picked this up. They've had this for a little while now, and I, I keep looking at it, and then I walk away and I don't get it, but I finally got some today. I wanted to try this. I love potato soup, especially if it's creamy, and this looks super yummy. So I picked this up. It's 28 ounces that I could never eat all this, but this would make probably three servings for me. And it says here that there are about three servings in here, so that works out. It's a, uh, I, I don't speak German. <laughs> Deutsch Kuche, Kuche, Deutsche Kuche, something like that. Authentic German food. It was imported from Germany. And it just looks so yummy. It's a thick and creamy soup accented with subtle flavors of potatoes, carrots, and leeks. So yeah, I, I, I really want to try this soup. I, I thought about it all winter, and now that it's warm, I, I I don't really like soup so much when it's warm, but I'm going to try it anyway. It looks really yummy, and it has a pop top on it, which is great, so you don't have to find the can opener, and it just looks really delicious, and I'm looking forward to trying that, and I also want to do, I want to do tacos one night, so I picked up some stuff. For that, I grabbed a can of Happy Harvest. Don't tell her. She wouldn't be too happy diced tomatoes and these have no artificial preservatives or ingredients this does not have a pop top so you have to uh, use a can opener but these were only 29 cents per can which i think is a fantastic deal for a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes from happy harvest at 29 cents i mean you can't beat that and I also picked these up. Now, I'm the only one here who likes refried beans. My kids don't like them. I love them. These are from Casa Mamita, which is a, an Aldi brand. And these are fat-free refried beans. And they also don't have a pop top, but that's okay. I think these were only 55 cents for this can. And it's 16 ounces. A whole pound, one pound of refried beans. And these are the fat-free ones. I love them. I use them in all kinds of stuff. So those are just for me, though. <laughs> oh, and I also picked up a can of Dakota's Pride Black Beans. These were also 29 cents. I could not get over it. This is a 15 and a half ounce can of just plain black beans. Dakota's Pride is also an Aldi brand. It's not one we see very often in these videos because... I, I don't really buy a lot of their stuff. I think they mainly just have beans for the most part. Um, but this is just a 15 and a half ounce can of plain black beans that I might use on taco night. Oh, and I wanted to make some more salmon patties. So I picked up a can of Northern Catch Wild Alaska Pink Salmon. And the salmon patties are super easy to make. And it tells you to open it on the bottom. It says open other end down here. This is 14.75 ounces. I think it's 225 and I can make a whole plate of salmon patties out of this can. And I also have breadcrumbs um, for that as well. You just take a can of this, mush it up, add an egg to it, stir it in. And then add breadcrumbs to it until it becomes like a almost like a dough, like like a biscuit. Form it into little patties and fry them, and they're so good. Just fry them in a pan of oil, and they're they're fantastic. Super inexpensive, a good source of protein, and very yummy. That's the only way you will ever see me eat fish, because I just don't like fish. Um, okay. Oh, and this I picked up for myself. Now this, this is on the aisle with uh, paper products, pet food, things like that. This is uh, La Cura, which is an Aldi brand. Their moisturizers are actually really good too, but this is um, a foaming gel cleanser. 
and it's also a makeup remover. So it's a makeup remover and a cleanser in one, and it gently cleanses with soft foaming action. This is an 8.45 ounce bottle, and it has a little pump dispenser at the top. And according to this, it's comparable to Neutrogena's Fresh Foaming Cleanser. And I think it's less than $3, or right around $3. And it takes me a while to go through one of these, but it's, it's actually a really good facial cleanser. So I keep it in the shower, and this is what I use to clean my face in the shower. So I have something else if I'm just washing my face at the sink, but this is what I use in the shower. I don't know why, that's just what I use. Um, all right. Oh, and I have this because tonight I am making manicotti and I have a lot of the groceries that I have are already in the refrigerator or the freezer. I bought these little mini manicottis. They're frozen and you have to add your own sauce and ricotta cheese to the top and mozzarella cheese. And I bought this can of marinara pasta sauce. This was only 85 cents. For this 24 ounce jar of marinara pasta sauce. Now I have not tried the, the marinara pasta sauce from Aldi before. Now I, I love their pasta sauce that has them flavored with meat. It's really good and it's also only 85 cents for a jar this size. They have some other uh, pasta sauces that are you know more fancy I guess they're more expensive but really I like I like this one. Well, I don't know about the marinara pasta sauce, but I'm going to find out tonight So, because I'm going to make the uh, manicotti that I bought there at Aldi. And I'm going to put this on it and we'll see. I bet it's going to be really good. I'm looking forward to it. Um, oh, and my kids, I buy these for my kids, especially as the weather warms up and they're outside more, they're doing more. They love these lemonades right here. And they're only, I think they're 65 cents a piece. It is from Fit and Active, which is an Aldi brand. It's usually lower calorie stuff, um, lower calorie or, or whatever. Um, this is lemonade. It's a flavored water beverage. It's five calories and has no caffeine and very low sodium. And they, they it's actually really, really good. It's good lemonade. I've tried it. Um, but they'll, you know, they love these big things of lemonade. So I bought several of those. Now this one is my favorite right here. The strawberry lemonade. Oh my gosh, it is so good. This is the one I like. Now usually I'm the one who drinks these, but it has strawberry and lemon flavor in it. But yeah, I, I love this stuff. It's so good, especially when it's really cold. It's delicious. Oh, it is so yummy. Very refreshing too, especially like if I've been out doing yard work or anything and I get all sweaty and hot. It's really good. Okay, now we have breadcrumbs. I bought two kinds of breadcrumbs. I have from Chef's Cupboard, which is an Aldi brand. These are the Italian style breadcrumbs and these are great if I'm making meatballs. Um, or I like to use these with my, my pork chops. I bread them in, I dip them in egg and then dip them in these Italian style breadcrumbs. Sometimes I'll mix the breadcrumbs half and half between plain and Italian style for my pork chops. Um, this is a 15 ounce can and it has a little resealable top. It has this little, little top that you put on it and you pop the top and then this keeps it fresh. 15 ounces. I think these are 85 cents per can. I believe I got the Italian ones and I also got some panko breadcrumbs like that. These I think were a little bit more possibly. Um, a seven ounce can of panko breadcrumbs. These are good for things like shrimp and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're just, they're a little bit different, but I also grabbed a can of those while I was there looking at breadcrumbs. What is this over here? Oh, I have more, I have more pouches. Here's a pouch. How did I miss this pouch? <laughs> I bought some more mashed potatoes. Now these are from Chef's Cupboard, which is an Aldi brand. And it looks like they were grown in Idaho, made with 100% real Idaho potatoes. And this is the four cheese flavor. And they're really good. This makes a nice little amount of mashed potatoes, four ounces. 
and these were only 55 cents per packet and they're they're really good so I got those and what do I have I also got Idahoan sour cream and chives mashed potatoes now these were a little bit more it says they're America's favorite mashed potatoes now these are not an Aldi brand so they were a little bit more homemade taste in minutes and I have never tried the sour cream and chives before so I thought I would try these they're made with 100% real Idaho potatoes perfectly blended with sour cream and chives so they look good and I love sour cream and chives so I thought it'd be good with this I like them on a baked potato so with mashed potatoes I'm sure they're good okay and for taco night I do have some crunchy taco shells now normally we do the soft shell tacos but I thought this time we would go with the crunchy ones just for some variety these are also an Aldi brand they're very cheap I forget they were like 85 cents I think from Casa Mamita 12 crunchy taco shells and they're made with whole grain corn um, and it's just a little packet of hard shell taco shells for taco night because I'm completely out of all my other shells okay and all oh, these are yummy I love these I think Ritz has a version of these these are from Savor It's. Up here in the corner, you can see the little Savor It's logo. That's an Aldi brand. They are mini naturally flavored cheese sandwich crackers. And they're, they're small. They're about that big. And they have this real cheese filling in them. And they're so good. They're, they're very addictive. I, I, I have to get, force myself to just get a few and then put the box away. Or I will sit there and eat half this box. The only thing that stops me, though, is that they're kind of salty. And after a while, the saltiness gets to me. But this is an 8.8 .8 ounce box. They also have packages. You can buy a box of little packets of the of the crackers, the little sandwich crackers. And they also have these in peanut butter. So you can get the cheese ones or peanut butter. And we love these cheese ones here. We, we, uh, we all love these. I think this is one of the few things that we all agree is good. <laughs> so that's another Aldi thing. And this is just a mix of stuff. Like we have some potatoes. These are from Chef's Cupboard, like the mashed potatoes we looked at a minute ago. These are julienne uh, potatoes. Little, it's like hash browns kind of. But it's julienne, like the strips, little pieces. With a smooth and creamy blended cheese sauce. Doesn't that look good? Oh my gosh, I think these were $1.99. But it, it, it includes everything. You're going to have the, the potatoes and the cheese sauce. So you don't have to. I don't think you have to add any. Oh, you have to add butter and milk and water to it. So they look really delicious. So um, so it's just, I guess, just a, a cheese sauce. Maybe a blend of different types of cheeses. So there's that. And I got some more potatoes. And I'll show you those in a minute. I also picked up from Simply Nature this look at this i thought this would be cool to try this is black soybean spaghetti it has 25 grams of plant-based protein it's high in fiber and vegan and look at that this is okay simply nature non-gmo and it is organic and it looks like it's very easy to cook it looks like um it looks like it takes about four to six minutes to make it so it's really fast and here's what it looks like when it's all done but I like, I like to try different things just to break the monotony sometimes. So that, that's a little box. Let's see, it's 7.05 ounces of that. I don't think it'll go very far. That's probably like one serving for, a, for like all of us. Um, I had another one. Oh, this one. This was right beside it. And I thought I would try this one as well. This is also from Simply Nature, it's organic, Ed edamame, I know I'm saying that wrong, it doesn't matter, spaghetti. This has 24 grams of plant-based protein, one gram less than the other. Also high in fiber and vegan, and you can see it there, the ed edamame spaghetti. And I don't remember how much these were. They weren't a lot, I think they were, I think they were $2.95 per box. 
Um, but again, I, I don't really know how many servings that is for us. And that might be like one meal for us, but still $3 for, you know, three people is not bad. And then I picked up some cheesy hash browns. Now these are from Chef's Cupboard. They're just cheesy potatoes, 100% real potatoes with real cheddar cheese and onions. That looks so yummy. It doesn't help to shop when you're hungry. I mean, everybody knows that, but I was hungry when I went in there. I don't know if you can tell. But every, everything looked good. This cooks and is ready in 16 minutes. That's crazy. This is 9.01 ounces, and it was less expensive, but it's not as hoity-toity as the other one. This definitely is not as hoity-toity, but we still love it here. This is a, a big favorite here. We all love this. This is from Cheese Club, which is an Aldi brand. It's like Velveeta shells and cheese. It's original, just like Velveeta. These are only $1.25 per box. And um, my older son would eat this whole box himself if I let him because he loves the stuff. It's, uh, it's just shell pasta with a cheese sauce that comes in a little pouch. And you just boil the pasta, you bake, then boil it, prepare it, and strain it. Then you add the cheese sauce to it. It's really easy. Little 12 ounce box of shells and cheese. A cheesy treat for the whole family. And we, we all agree on this too. We all like that. I'm bu I buy that frequently. Oh, and there's there's a new, well, I don't know if it's new, but I had not, I have never seen this one before. These just look really good to me. I know I love peanut butter cookies, like the ones my grandmother used to make. This is from Elevation, which is an Aldi brand. You can tell because they have the little twice as nice thing back here. And these are just pure and simple peanut butter cookie, fruit and nut bars. And I saw this and that's what got me because I remember my grandmother's peanut butter cookies and, you know, they press it with the fork and it makes a little design on it. It says they only have four ingredients. They're dairy-free, vegan, and gluten-free, and non-GMO. It doesn't look very appealing if you just look at it. It looks like something I'd scoop out of the litter box, but I'll try not to think about that. It contains dates, peanuts, water, and sea salt. And that's it. That's all that's in here, and it was made in Germany, according to this. But it's just a simple little thing. It's just uh, dates and peanuts, basically. You get five 1.7 ounce bars in here. And I just, I don't know, I, I wanted to try them. Sounded like a nice little treat to me. Oh, and I found these on the seasonal food aisle. These are drink pouches. They're little pouches like this. And they're from Simply Nature Organic Fruit Punch and Coconut Water Pouches. It's flavored organic juice, a juice drink from Concentrate with other natural flavors. And it has no artificial sweeteners, 100% of vitamin C for the day. Yeah, these are just some little fruit, uh, some little juice pouches. I've never tried these before. Um, you get eight six ounce pouches in here. Wow, I didn't know you got that many. But um, yeah, I've, I've never tried fruit punch with coconut water, so I thought that would be something interesting to try. I don't know if the kids would like it, but I thought it was worth a shot. It's just something different, I don't know. I feel like they get tired of drinking the same stuff all the time. Um, they actually, both of them drink a lot of water, which is great. They drink way more water than I did as a kid. I also picked up a little package of yellow rice. It's Spanish style yellow rice from Pueblo Lindo, which is an Aldi brand. You can see the little Aldi things down here. Oh, they have it in English and Spanish. That's cool. These little boxes are very inexpensive. It's a little seven ounce box of this Spanish style rice. And I, I have not had this kind of rice in a long time. So I thought it would be nice. Look how happy and yellow that is. It just looks so bright and cheerful. <laughs> it reminds me of a forsythia bush. There's a um, guy down the street that has this huge forsythia bush in his front yard. And it, it has these big yellow blooms on it. We used to call them yellow bale bushes when I was a kid. 
or switch bushes. If you had to cut your own switch, that's usually where it came from. <laughs> but it reminds me of that. It's just so yellow and happy. And I have more potatoes. I don't know why I have so many potatoes today. <laughs> I picked up these cheesy scalloped potatoes. Now again, these are from Chef's Cupboard. Look the little, the name up here with the little whisk. <laughs> it has a rich and creamy real cheese sauce. That just looks so good to me. Again, I know better than to shop when I'm hungry because I come back with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> but they do look good. These are cheesy scalloped potatoes. A little five ounce box. Mm. Oh, we're well stocked up on potatoes because also I found in the seasonal food section they had a bunch of different types from specially selected which is like all these gourmet version of things look at these now these are deluxe cheesy potatoes made with imitation bacon chips applewood smoked cheddar and bacon Ooh, that just sounds so good so, whoa, I think these are going to be really good. Now, these were more, I think these were $1.99 each. I could be wrong about that. I think they were about $2 per box. 6.6 .6 ounces. It makes about seven servings. So, that's pretty good. So, I got this one. And I also got Mediterranean Herb Tomato and Cheddar Deluxe Cheesy Potatoes. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my goodness, I've never tried any of these before. It looks like the scalloped potatoes still have the skin on them. They're like red potatoes. The other ones don't. The applewood smoked cheddar and bacon, it doesn't look like they have the skin on, but it looks like these do. This is a 6.7 ounce box of that. And then finally for potatoes, I got creamy Swiss and Parmesan. Deluxe cheesy potatoes. Ooh, don't you know those are just so creamy and yummy. This is a 6.8 ounce box. And it also looks like with these, the skin is not on the potatoes. Or maybe, maybe it is. It's kind of hard to say. Don't really know without looking at it, I guess. But yeah, I, I, I went a little overboard with all the potatoes. But I don't know. They just... I hadn't seen these before and they all look good and I wanted to try them. And I don't know how long it will take us to try all these, but they're, they're going to be available. Now this is one of my favorites. I just tried this for the first time about a week ago. It's really good. It's Simply Nature Organic Shells and White Cheddar. It's cheese from cows not treated with RBST. It's really good though. So it's basically the same shell pasta but it's in a white cheddar sauce. My kids don't like it. They said it tasted weird. I like it. I think it's really good. It's a little more of um, like a tangy flavor instead of that thick cheesy flavor with the, the cheese club shells and cheese. I like it though. It's a nice little break from the regular macaroni and cheese. I really love it. So when I make it, I get it all to myself because nobody else wants it. I think it's good though. I think it's less than two dollars but it's not really much less than the aunt annie's organic it's basically the same about the same price but it's it's good okay and i picked up some protein pancake and waffle mix this is a buttermilk pancake mix with wheat protein in it 14 grams per serving and you just add water to it now this is from aunt maples which is an aldi brand it's 18 and a half ounces. Now that's not a lot. You're not going to get a lot of pancakes out of here. It says there are about nine servings per container, and I think one serving is one pancake. <laughs> so you're going to get about, well, that can't be right. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, you don't, you're not going to get a lot out of here. And you can also make waffles. It gives you the directions for pancakes and waffles. And I also picked this up. Now this is also from Aunt Maples Protein Oat Pancake and Waffle Mix. Now this is also a buttermilk pancake mix, but it has wheat protein from small uh, wheat protein and small oats. 14 grams of protein, which is the same as the other one. And with this one again, all you need is water. 
That's all you got to do is add water to it. I don't think I've tried this one, so I'm not really sure how this one tastes, but I thought I would give it a shot. For a little while there, they didn't have these, and now they have them back in stock. And to go with the pancake mix, I also picked up a jar of, or a bottle of specially selected 100% pure maple syrup. These are only five, I think they're $5.99, and it's 12 and a half ounces of pure maple syrup. It's really good. This stuff is yummy. It has a little, it, look, it has a little, a little tiny handle on the side. So yeah, this is an Aldi brand and this is a gold, it has a gold emblem on it. This is one of the customer favorites, this maple syrup right here. And it has the little, has a little gold seal on it because people like it so much. And it is really good. This is awesome syrup right here. After you have a little bit of this, you can't really, I, don't, I cannot stand like the cheap syrups. They, they just taste so syrupy. Well, it's syrup, it makes sense, but they're just too sweet. This stuff is great. I love it. So I have a bottle of my maple syrup. And I also picked up a box of Crunchy Granola Raisin Bran. Now this is from Millville. And you will see the name up here in the corner. It's kind of hard to see because it's a blue on blue, basically. But the cereal is bursting with raisins and it has little clusters in it. Crunchy granola clusters. Delicious crisp flakes and crunchy granola clusters with juicy raisins. And it's really good. Evie agrees. She's meowing at me. She always meows at me when I make these videos. I don't know why. I could sit here normally and she wouldn't do it. I think it's because she thinks I'm talking to her. 18.2 ounces. And this box of cereal is only $2.19 at my Aldi. It's really good. And then I have one last thing for today. That is a package of uh, garbage bag garbage bags. These are kitchen size garbage bags. They're similar to Glad Tall Kitchen Quick Tie bags, according to this. Now these are from Boulder, which is an Aldi brand. You're going to see the Boulder name on zipper seal bags, um, napkins, paper products like paper towels, and trash bags. And you can get these in all different types. You can get the drawstring bags. You can get bags that are scented. You can get larger bags. Personally, I like these fine. I don't really feel like I need the drawstring bags, plus they're more expensive. You can get 80 of these bags at my Aldi for about $4.49, $4.49. And a, bag, a box like this will last quite a while. And it's perforated, so you can tear this off, and then you have a little dispenser. So they're they're really great. Um, yeah, these. So you get eighty in here, and that lasts me quite a while. And look, just like all the other products at Aldi, you're gonna find a barcode on pretty much every surface, except for the one that is like the main surface. But everywhere else, you're gonna. Ooh, look at that one. That's a big barcode. Every other surface is going to have a barcode. That way they can scan it very quickly. And I can tell you, if the cashiers at your Aldi are like the ones at mine, they don't have time for your foolishness. I mean, they will scan. They'll have everything scanned and rung up before I even get my debit card stuck in the little machine. Like, they're done. <laughs> they do not have time to play with you. Like, you're out. And I know, I know they're supposed to ring people up at a certain rate. It's impressive to watch, honestly. It never takes long to check out at Aldi. They get you in and out, which I really, really appreciate. But this is the last thing I had to show you today. It's, it's heavy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again soon.